Whoa! Okay. There we go. Took two, two cars out. He's out. He's trying to run. Oh, he's trying to carjack somebody. And it looks like it. It looks like he has a weapon. He does. He's got a weapon. A wild and reckless chase in L.A. And tonight we're hearing from the carjacking victim right in the middle of it. He just came up to me and pointed the gun at me and told me to get out my car. And he just took off with it. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Barbara Lee Edwards. I'm Carlo Chiquetto. The dangerous drama played out on our air during the 5 o'clock hours. The gunman got into several crashes and wouldn't give up. CBS News 8's Abby Alford's in our newsroom tonight with the heart-stopping moments during the crime spree and how it all ended. Abby? Barbara Lee and Carlo, this wild chase had so many moments where you thought it would end, crashing into oncoming cars. But any time you felt that he was going to be stopped, then he'd get trapped, and then he started pulling guns on anyone who got in his way. A high-speed chase with multiple crashes in South Los Angeles almost came to a tragic end Monday night during rush hour. It looks like he has a weapon. He does. He's got a weapon. He's got a weapon. He's the man points the gun at the driver, yanks her out of the car, and he takes off. Stay out of the way. While the KCBS chopper follows the driver above, weaving in and out of traffic in Southgate on residential streets and onto the 710 freeway. On the ground, the driver coming home from work tells news crews she was terrified. We were pointing the gun at me, so I just, I just got off the car and ran. It's now after sunset, about 30 minutes into the chase, the gunman is trapped at an off-ramp. Oh, oh, he, he's wedged in there. Here he goes again. He attempts another carjacking, but takes off on foot. With an officer on his tail, police say he was shot by patrol. The suspect is down. A 30-minute chase that had CBS News 8 chopper reporter, also retired CHP, in suspense. This was extremely dangerous, and he put a lot of lives at risk here. Let's take you back when the chase started from a stolen vehicle, the Toyota Camry. At about 5.18, he starts plowing through several intersections and oncoming cars. Witnesses watch in horror with their kids in the back seat. Panic. You know, are my kids going to be okay? Sometimes getting up to 60 miles per hour, heading into oncoming traffic, taking out more cars. Yeah, look at this, wrong side of the road. Whoa, whoa. This was a man who did not want to be stopped and a woman who did not want to be killed. I was just scared he was going to hurt me. As we watch the chase with retired CHP officer and Chopper 8 reporter Phil Constantine, he says the woman did everything right. And if you are confronted with a gunman or a suspect in a high-speed chase, do what they say. Carlo. I'll take it, Abby. Thanks. None of the officers was injured. It's unclear if anyone hit by the driver was hurt. He was taken to the hospital by ambulance and faces several charges.